Hello fellow explorers and welcome to our show. Today in our rocket ship we're whizzing through time and space towards the planet of arts and crafts. Fun fact, did you know that a rocket ship travelling through space can travel up to 17,600 miles per hour, which is roughly 20 times the speed of sound. Imagine that. So we are approaching the planet now. Let's see what fun things we can find here. Maybe we can even find some aliens. Let's go. So in my space ventures, I've come across many explorers who have ventured the colorful lands of the arts and crafts planet. They've told me about some amazing inventions they found here in the cardboard craters and paper mache mountains. So today we're crafting mini aliens to fit in our rockets so they can fly home to Mars. So for today's art experiment, you will need pipe cleaner, googly eyes, pom-poms, glue, and scissors. But scissors are sharp, so you're gonna need help and permission from a parent or guardian. So to start out, you're gonna to want to pick out your favorite color. Mine is blue. Then you're gonna to want to curl the wire to fit your finger. And when the wire fits your whole finger, you're gonna to want to cut off any remaining parts, like so. I'm gonna to, to be careful this time so it doesn't. There we go. So put this aside. And to get your alien to stand up, you're gonna to want to glue the bottom of your alien body and curl it around like so. If you've done it right, it'll be able to stand up like so. And next, you are gonna to want to pick out another pipe cleaner. It could be the same color or a different one if you're feeling creative. Then cut it in half like so. So you're gonna to want to glue these arms to either side of your alien body. then the alien has arms. So yeah, I, I also like the colour green, it's not my favourite, my favourite's blue, as I mentioned before. I do like green now. It's a very spacey colour. And you're going to want to do the same with the other arm. Big dollop of glue. And then you're going to want to do the same on the other side. Curl it around just to make sure it sticks properly. If it works. There we go. Alright, and then to make the hands of your aliens, you're going to want to curl the ends of these arms. There you go, you've got your alien hands as well. So next, you're going to want to grab a pom pom, and this is going to become your alien head. So to stick the, pom uh, stick the pom pom, you're going to want to glue the top of your alien body. And then you're going to want to curl it around like you've done for the arms to make it easier to get your head to stick on. And then you're going to want to stick the head, the pom-pom, right there. So that's going to become your alien head. So after all the glue has dried out, you're going to want to pick out two of the eyes. It can be the same size or different ones if you want. So you're going to want to peel the backs of the eyes and stick them anywhere on your pom-pom. So I'm going to stick one right here, like so. That's one alien eye. And then do the same with the other one. There you go, you've got your alien eyes. And looking at all your aliens, they're all looking out of this world. So next, you're gonna want to grab a small pom-pom of a different color to make the nose of your alien if you want. And if you want an antenna for your alien, you're gonna want to grab the remaining pipe cleaner and you're gonna want to cut it short, so cut a bit off here, like so. And then you're gonna to want to stick it right on top of your alien pom-pom head. And then curl the end. And this is your alien antenna, like so. And there you go, your own puppet alien. So that is all that we have for today. Next on CBBC will be the story of Tracy Beaker. Tune in next time for another adventure. Over and out, my fellow explorers. Goodbye.